Hi, Chris Burkhardt with Placers and Outside Insights. Coming at you with our theme is to be. Every year at Placers, we pick a theme that's really more than just a word. It's our shared vision and it's our rallying cry. And we do it like it's a team sport where everybody gets to throw their ideas into the mix and then we determine what fits best. But to help us with this brainstorm, we consider key questions. Like, what do we need to be in the new year? What are our goals? And what changes do we need to make from the year before to achieve those goals? Are we living our promises? Are we being a good coach to the workforce? And are we a consultant to the businesses we serve? Are we being competitive? Are we truly providing value to those key relationships that are critical to our business? I've learned that a good theme can really make all the difference. Take 2008, for example. Our theme was a grand road trip. We were cruising along down I-95, dreaming of getting to Florida's sunny shores. And as you might imagine, there was a reward if we got there. And then wham, halfway through that year, a pretty severe recession hit. We found ourselves parked at a metaphorical truck stop in North Carolina for what seemed like two whole years. Of course, eventually, we not only reset our destination, I think we chose a brand new theme. Jump to last year. Our theme was based on the book, The Atomic Habits, inspired by James Clear's uh, ideas and book and uh, app and everything else that he's got. The idea, imagine if all of us, all at once, could improve just 1% every day in every role we play. It's incredible to think about how all these tiny gains add up. We can all commit to that, right? And it makes a real difference in our lives, the lives of those around us, and in the communities as a whole. I dig into that topic and into the concept of nth degree in the chapter of my book and Outside Insights. Check it out here with the link or in the notes below. Last year was a really tough year for placers. We had a senior leader pass away suddenly in February. Regardless of how good, strong, or resilient your business is, a mid-market company feels this kind of loss deeply. It was like a rock skipped on a pond, and the ripple effect never seemed to end no matter how much you wanted it to. To guide us through, our team landed on the word B as our 2024 theme. It's much more than the word. B was about being here, being present, being true to who we are, to our values, and being ready and able to adapt. B kind of opened up new ways for us to think about who we are and how we move through the world. We really need to embrace change and find opportunity in every moment. And we found when we operate from the spirit of B, we can be dynamic, we can embrace change, we find we don't fight to keep things as they are. And if you consider the concept of B against the concept of have, When you have, you inevitably fear loss. But life and business are really dynamic. They're fluid, and we can't avoid change. And this can't avoid some degree of loss. So the concept of B embraces that notion, and more importantly, calls on us to recognize new opportunities that may come at us. And sometimes they're hiding right in plain sight through this kind of a loss. So what's your word for 2024? It's up to you. And what's that word going to guide you through 2024? Something that captures your goals, your dreams, the journey you're on? I chose the word focus. I need to keep the main thing the main thing, as the saying goes. I have much to give, and I like to explore new and creative programs and concepts and ideas. So for me, focus is about keeping an eye on the ball, paying attention to what is really most important. And in this case, it's guiding placers along its next growth journey and making sure I take care of me. So things like self-care, eating right, sleep, hydration, they're all critical for me to run as hard as I prefer. And frankly, the rest enables me to be there and do right things right. Until next time, friends, talk to you soon.